Hi guys and welcome to my first of many Final Fantasy VII Remake videos. Today we're going to look at the possible Materia system that will be used in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. We're going to discuss what we've learned from the interviews, the trailer and the imagery so far and discuss the logical structure Square Onyx has presented us with. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. I must start off by telling you that Square Onyx will not remove the Materia system present in the original version. Nomura added, regarding Materia, what I can say is, it's something of a skill. You can use it when you set a Materia that has an effect that can be used in battle. That to me confirms it's not going to be much different from the original Materia system, which for me, is great news. It's important not to deter too far from the original to keep the nostalgia true. What we will possibly see however is an extended revamp of the original concept, something of a skill tree perhaps which let's face it, again, is exactly the same as the original. For instance, in the original Final Fantasy VII concept it was pretty straightforward. Once you'd grinded enough XP for say, Ice, Fire or Bolt, you would unlock tiers 1, 2 and 3. So to make things a little bit more interesting, how about when you have said materia equipped, you can upgrade aspects within a skill tree format by getting XP. Killing certain types of monsters, completing missions, or even gathering key items through side quests. And of course it goes without saying that certain weapons and armor would give different levels of XP like the original to help boost growth. And what would be unlockable in the tiers of the Materia skill tree I hear you ask? Well it's funny you should because I'm about to discuss that right now. So rather than grinding XP to simply get Fire 1, 2 and 3 for example, why not have one tier Materia, so instead of Fire 1, 2 and 3, it's simply just known as Fire, then with a skill tree similar to the Sphere grid in Final Fantasy X, each grid could have added damage, MP bonuses, defense against said element, and then even support magic. Because when you read online, people have talked a lot about certain materials not being compatible with the remake, like the Materia All for instance. Stating, how can all enemies be targeted in an action-based battle system? I personally think all would work fine, but I will cover why and the battle system in another video. But a skill tree would not work with the support materia. I mean, there'd be nothing to unlock. So instead, you could add the support materials like all, added effect, and quadra magic to the skill trees of the other materials, making them compatible and giving them some meaning within the game. It would then be down to us, the player, to decide how to build the materia, giving each materia a personalised feeling instead of the generic levelling we're used to. I mean, how cool would it be to just extend the current system, but with enough of a modern twist to spice things up? Sign me up for that. The only thing left to talk about is the visual aspect of the game, and let's face it, the possibilities are endless. I cannot wait to see the summons, ultima, comet, and possibly wholly revamped in 4K, with a new action-packed battle system. It'd be pretty sweet if you ask me. But all we can do as the fans is sit back and wait for Square Onyx to give us something to go off. And let's face it, they've got a tough job making sure everything is perfect, so I'm sure it will be worth the wait. Thanks for watching guys, and if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to smack that like button, and let me know you're enjoying the Final Fantasy VII Remake series, subscribe for more Final Fantasy Remake content, and finally comment down below with any questions regarding the material system you'd like to discuss. Well that's all for today guys, thanks for sticking around and until next time, take care.